how to make money with Canva. So if you want to actually go ahead and learn how you're going to make money with Canva, you're going to need to, you know, choose a niche first of all. So Canva is used to design a lot of things. So the best three things that I can tell you to design, first of all, NFTs, secondly, t-shirt designs, and thirdly, you can actually make a lot of great digital stuff like digital planners, you know, graphic designing, all these digital things. So I'm going to give you all three examples. So here I have a t-shirt design. Okay. Here I have a design of a daily planner or a digital planner. And the uh, third one, you know, you can make advertisements or websites for people. So, you know, you can obviously make NFTs as well. But let's say I've uh, made this advertisement. So I'm going to open these up. So look at this. This is obviously a t-shirt design that uh, if we are to place over a t-shirt, it will look absolutely incredible. It will look absolutely out of this world. So, you know, this gives you a good idea of how you're going to create t-shirt designs. And then you can actually use some external software like Printify or Printful to print this on t-shirts and sell it to people. So that gets you good money. That's one way. The other way is to create digital planners. Like, look at this. This one I've created. Looks pretty nice, right? So you can actually sell this on marketplaces like Etsy where people are ready to give you 10 to $20 for one digital planner. How incredible is that, you know? So this is another thing that you can create. Then finally... The last thing is, you know, creating posters for people. You know, people actually hire uh, people off from Canva, and, you know, uh, Fiverr and places like that to create them posters and all. So you can actually become a poster creator for other people and it's going to help you a lot. So, yeah, that's how you can make money with Canva. Thank you for watching and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye. Hi, guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can curve text in Canva. You can change the shape of the text and it will be very, very cool also guys very easy let's first of all create a brand new file or use a file from our previous projects something that includes text already my example i am going to use this particular text over here when we have the example already with the text on it we want to click on the actual text then you want to click on over here and you want to click on effects okay then there is a small section under this that is called shape you see there is a shape there is a style so you can click on shape and the second option is curves as you can see when you create the curve right we can essentially move the text on the side don't forget that we can make it larger right we can make it larger we can make it smaller and then we can move it around the actual piece of content but this is how simple it is to curve a text on Canva. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and come back for more. Hi, guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Canva to create Instagram posts. Very easy, guys. Very simple. All you got to do is to go on Canva homepage and then you want to go and scroll to the bottom where you will find Instagram posts. It's above the logos. So first thing you want to click, guys, see all. So let's see what Canva offers in Instagram post department. Currently, we have some square posts. This is what usually works. But don't forget that there is a different type of shapes that you can actually use, such as the portraits over here. If you want to change it, you can change it from here. If you scroll on the side, you can simply filter the style of the Instagram post. Are we going to create a modern, minimalistic, you're going to be elegant, professional, you know, happy, clean, this bunch of posts. You see, everything is in thousands, guys. The templates are, you know, 10,000, 15,000, 30,000, 40,000. So you want to find something that you're very, 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 very interested. For example, let's create this promo. Do you see this? It's a promo template. Let's click apply. Let's see what kind of promo, right? Celebrations are coming. St. Valentine's is coming, guys, in a couple of days. The next filter I'm going to do over here on top as well will be the price and we're going to filter by free simply because we're working on budget and our money will go to elsewhere. So you see we have a bunch of cool templates over here. Let's click on this one. So when you come over here, you can essentially click on all the elements on the post itself. Let's start clicking. So let me show you. So each of the elements, it's customizable and everything could be changed in terms of colors in terms of sizes shapes okay you can change it you can add the link do you see there is a small link section over here if you click on it you can enter your link over here 
for example, if I type google.com, right, and click done, okay, you have it. We are going to have the link over here. Every, every time when someone clicks on the 30% off, it will go, it will be sent straight through the link direction. So, for example, this font, it's not bad, but it might be better. For example, if you click this one, right, this type of font, and if we try to shift it, this is unreadable, of course. This looks okay. This one looks better. So DM Serif. Okay, let me edit this one as well. So this is how simple we're doing it. And you have this function change all means that any text on the actual post will change automatically adjusted. Very, very nice. So the lightning, I don't like the color, very, very obvious. The background of the lightning should be black. I think we all know that. You want to scroll and change it to black. And I want to make the actual thunder. Right. Let's see. Let's see this color. Yo, like legitimate thunder, right? See, now it looks good. All we gotta do is to click on the next one, same thing, and we have to change the background color to black. Now things look a little more professional. Also, the up to 30% off, it's not readable, guys. We have to change this to black color, so you see how this will pop. Also, we want to see the background color on this. So, for example, Big Sale looks good like this. Change to all, no. We're gonna change this one. Okay, and now we're actually going to create a special animation. Remember guys, we're talking about Instagram posts, okay? So let's animate this. So let's animate the way how all this will appear, right? This is, this is looking good, right? Let's keep this one. Okay, now let's create some effects. Effects will simply allow you to make the text much more appealing to the audience right they will see something that they already know or something that you know tells them something some story or makes them to to take action i don't like any of these so we are not going to utilize them so the next option over here guys of course is to click over here and essentially save this as a previous project so if you go back at some point and you, you might say okay uh, you know this is not looking too good uh, i want to change this i want to change that don't forget that the bottom also could be changed essentially if you come over here you know this one you can essentially delete it if you don't like it so the big cell will appear like this in the air and then you can add elements so for example if you want to add let's say pff, i don't know car so if you go and add cars in terms of of uh, elements right car uh, emoji over here you might be able to add here so some of these elements are working in a very very sim similar manner but they're very strong so for example we replace this weak right previous like a foundation underneath with with the with the speaker and now the speaker makes the whole a lot of different expression if you look it can move around right and guys don't forget to include your link like i mentioned you can come over here click on the up 30 percent you can click the three dots and then you can essentially add the link okay and this is how you're going to make all the sales for more tips and tricks like this guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can create for free business cards on Canva app. Very easy guys, very simple. First thing you want to do, you want to go ahead and log into your account and then I want you to come over here on your home page, right? And then you want to scroll all the way to the business card landscape function, okay? You want to click on it and then First thing we want to do, we want to filter the actual media, okay? 
we want to make sure that we have everything that we previously prepared for it so we can upload all the elements all the fonts everything that we are going to use if we have something on the site the second filter i'm going to apply will be over here and will be the style um, depending on your business or niche let's try something different previous examples we always go for corporate for uh, formal for professional this time let's go to something modern and let's click apply the last filter i'm going to apply will be the pricing filter which will give us the free templates we don't want to lose our time with looking at the paid versions okay let's pick something very very similar let's click on this one reminds me harvey specter from suits okay guys first thing first each element that you see could be customized okay you click on one two three four different elements currently each one of these elements could simply be edited so for example if you don't like particular part remember we have the front and we have the back this means that every single piece of this could be changed dramatically. Let's start from the actual logo. So for example, if you if you don't vibe with the logo, you can actually delete it if you click on the on the bin icon on top. But you can essentially change the colors first of all. I think depending of the niche, depending of the of the brand, yellow usually goes along with uh, with uh, with red. But as you can see over here, there are specifications because there are two different colors if we want to apply. If you want to apply to all of it, everything that is currently white, as you saw, everything that is white will change when we change this one. So you click the new color. And when you click the new color, you can click this button, change all. So essentially, you're going to change everything at once probably wonder, is this going to change everything on the back of the business card as well? Yes, it did change everything at the back of the business card. But remember, they didn't change the actual text. Text has a different button. I'm going to show you right now. If you want to change the color of the text, you want to click on the text itself. Then you want to go down over here and then you want to click on the text color. So this is where you can essentially change the color of the text. For the sake of this example, we can pick a like a yellow right and then we can use the same function you can click change all and now every single text will be changed and if you go on the second page you will see that every single text on the second page has been changed this is how simple it is guys for example if you you know change if you want to change this green part over here you don't vibe with it right let's change it let's make it much more you know clear maybe you want to check with something gray uh, maybe lighter gray looks good white looks good if you like this one you can apply it by again clicking change all so if we close this and go back to the first page you're going to see that things are looking much much nicer right you can do the same thing with this color over here right uh, for example you don't like it right you can come over you can click the white right and, and or you can simply scroll down because it is a combination of two colors it is not just one color it's kind of a uh you know saturated you know version of it between two colors between black and, and white so if you choose something like this i think this looks good right so if you can change all now we're having a very very different design so <laughs> i hope you these guys find this helpful uh, you can spend a lot of time here you know, playing with different fonts when you're done all you gotta do is to click on the upper right corner over here and then download the business card for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and come back for more hi guys in today's video i'm going to show you how you can use magic ai from canva in this example over here guys we're going to use the ai image generator to create a t-shirt design okay it will be very easy it will be very simple anyone can do it the first thing i want you to do is to go ahead and log into your canva account and then go on the upper left side of the screen on the actual menu and go on discover apps 
when you're over here at apps you will have a bunch of trending apps right now and you will have a filter between what kind of apps functionality you're looking for but we're going to go ahead and click on the search bar and we're gonna type magic media magic media proprietary technology works very fast and it's very very efficient this is the app we're looking for we're gonna click on it and then we're going to scroll down and click on use new design look if you currently have certain designs for merchandise that you already have in place you probably can utilize some of them as use the ai to change these designs there is an option if you click use in existing design we're going to create something from scratch so let's click use new design then you want to scroll down to the section that is called t-shirt design as you can see over here we have a t-shirt design there is a special dimensions that are in the t-shirt itself and the way how the magic media works is that you will have to input a prompt over here uh, you can include objects colors places the more details you include the better results the canva ai will actually give you because it will have a more uh, starting points and it will add more details underneath you will find the styles in which the way you want the image to appear so you can <clears throat> essentially have more realistic versus more uh, you know uh, caricature or cartoon or animation uh, vibe you can also have something like a painting over here in our example we said we're going to create a t-shirt uh, create a t-shirt design with Ferrari uh, 458 in the uh, Amazon jungle racing with Lamborghini and a lot of animals are watching the race so as you probably suggest it will be hard ferrari lamborghini may result in content that doesn't meet our policies okay so replace ferrari so one sport car racing with another sport car this is how a little fine tuning always helps but still gonna be crazy just imagine two sports car racing in the jungle the way how the magic media works guys is it will generate four different ai images which are unbelievable as you can see absolutely absolutely wow man just look at this Just look at this beauty. Again, guys, this is a non sport car. Okay, this is a non sport car. And we just got a design for some like crazy AI sports car with some like tigers in, I don't know, what is it? Like cheetah or, or leopards on the back. It's crazy. It's such a good quality, right? This is what I meant by you need to have your imagination. This is why Canva realized that when we use like a, the brands Ferrari and Lamborghini, they cannot print it, right? Because it's a it's a brand stuff, it's a copyright, probably. So that's why we replace the brands with some sport car. And this is amazing. If a shirt like this I see, right, I most likely will buy if I'm car enthusiast. For more tips like this, guys, subscribe and like this video. How to use Canva app. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can use Canva app in the easiest way. So you're gonna come over to canva.com. Now to familiarize yourself and get straight into the using of Canva app, you're gonna to come to create a design, okay? And you can obviously search up for a template. So let's say I want an Instagram design, an Instagram post, or let's say I wanna create a website design, or let's say I wanna create a poster. I can just write that and uh, you get the poster dimensions you can also write what type so let's say i want a punk 
rock poster. I'm gonna write that, I'm gonna click on enter and you're gonna see that it's gonna start giving you punk rock templates. Look at that. It gives you all these rock and punk rock and all these things, which looks pretty incredible. So obviously most of them will take the pro plan from you, but I'm gonna go to this one free one and click on customize this template. Now, once you do this, it's gonna load things in and uh, here you can see uh, it's gonna load stuff up and I'm just gonna wait for it to do that real quick. And once this happens, you can simply go ahead into each and every single one of the components, you know, these texts, these things over here. Uh, you have your elements over here to mess around with. You can delete them separately. You have texts. You can also draw over this. It's a pretty incredible stuff. And that's basically the idea of how you're going to use the Canva app. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all of you next time. Goodbye. How to make a logo in Canva. So if you want to quickly go ahead and learn how you're going to make a logo in Canva, you're going to come to Canva.com, come to its search bar, and you're going to search up logo, okay, like this. Now, basically, once you go like this, what it's going to do is it's going to start giving you templates. Now, from here, you're going to choose any uh, thing from, which will obviously work well with the, your, you know, uh, logo lookout. So let's say I'm going to go with this. Now, once you go with this, you're going to click on customize this template. And uh, once we go over here, what's going to happen is you're going to get a basic template to work out with. So obviously, this is a pretty good logo in as itself. But if you want to go ahead and add something of your own, first of all, we're going to come to elements. You know, uh, what's going to happen from here is you're going to add in a shape. So let's say I'm going to add in a circle. Okay. And once we add in a circle, you're going to add it over here. Once we add it over here, you have, uh, let's say I'm going to add that. I'm going to give it a gradient in the back. Let's say I'm going to go with a dark blue. And then in this, you can obviously go ahead and start adding some texts. So let's say I want to add this text over here, right? Now, once you click on this text, it's going to add itself. So I'm going to close it down a bit, add it in the center. There we go. And now you're going to add, you know, whatever type of text you want to go with, whatever type of text you think will work for you. So let's say I'm going to add um, John Shoes. Okay, I'm going to write that. So that's the brand. So you can make logos like this. Click on Share. Once you click on Share, click on Download. And once you click on Download, you know, download it in PNG form and you're good to go. So that's pretty much about it. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. And I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye. Let's also decide what we're going to make a design for. So in my case, let's say... I'm going to go ahead and create a logo for a company about, let's say, shoes. Okay, this company sells shoes. So we have a blue background. Now, once we have a blue background, we're going to need some good elements to add in this. So the best thing is to not keep your logo dull. You know, you're going to need to add some stuff in the background. So I'm going to go ahead and add some textures. Okay, I'm going to search up textures. And it's going to give us all these different textures to add. So I'm going to go with, by the way, it would be preferably better if you get Canva Pro for yourself, because in that way you can get a lot of great textures totally for free. So this seems like a cool texture, you know, makes my design look pretty cool, Look makes it look pretty popping. So I'm going to stay on this. And once we have this, what we're going to want to do from here is we're going to go ahead and simply add some elements that are related to shoes okay hi guys in today's video i'm going to show you how to create a youtube banner on the canva app using your own phone first thing when you log in on canva you want to come over here on the menu and you want to click on the social media okay then you want to scroll down to the section about youtube this is the section and here you will find a different youtube thumbnails youtube intros you can scroll down and this is where you're going to find the youtube banners you want to click co the first thing that you want to do of course is you want to filter them right when you come on the top menu over here you want to filter them uh, first of all you want to filter them by style let's say for example you are running educational channel right educational channel meaning you're looking for something minimalistic so we're going to click over here on minimalist and we're going to click apply. Then we're going to scroll on the other side and we're going to click theme. Theme, it will be more on the 
let's see corporate tutorials let's click on tutorials okay click apply and then you want to come more on the site and you're going to filter by price why because we want the free versions of the templates so there you have it guys so first thing you want to focus is we don't want any pictures right we just want text let's click on this example over here so creating a banner guys very important is that the banner looks in one way when you use your phone and the banner looks completely different when people are using their tablet or their desktop computer so you want to make sure that the text that is pre-arranged over here is usually perfectly sized to look good on any device now example i don't like the font so we're going to click the text and just to give you an example every element as you can see you can click on and every element could be customizable okay so don't worry if you don't like something so click on the text and then come over here on the lower side and click on the fonts okay remember the font should kind of make sense in terms of your original you know page if it's uh, you know something beauty spa of course you want to make it more playful but if it's like an educational like a learn this learn that and how to videos or or if you like running a complete like a beginner orientation stuff i think something like this it will be very nice very clean very smooth the pro tip that is currently updated is that if you go back and click again on the phone right and you select the font you can simply go on the next one and edit it as well by clicking the phone you have already preset the previous font as you can see the thing that I am going to do in this particular example will be that I am going to put this second uh, text with the bolt. So you want to scroll on the side and you want to click bolt. Also, probably you want to have this one having a different vision. If you get what I mean, you can essentially stretch it. So this will make it much more professional. As you can see now, I have fashion designer, brand designer, right? The subscribe button looks cool, but I think we can actually change it a little. What I think is that we might as well put the subscribe button on a different location. So for example, I think that we can put the subscribe button here on the side. Okay, we want to put it here on the side. Because, you know, on the channels, usually, you will have, on the channels, usually, you will have a subscribe button on the site. You know that very well, right? So, when somebody is on your page, because if you have the subscribe button underneath, and if somebody opens this on mobile, you're not going to see it. Because there is a special cut on the banner on the actual page. But if the banner is next to the original text, they will be able to see it. So let's see what we're going to do with these flowers. Are we vibing with these flowers or we, we don't? Okay. Let's change the temperature. Let's make it, you see, warmer. Same thing, warmer. Essentially what we did, we changed the saturation. We can also adjust them, right? I can pull them closer. So if I pull them closer, they will, they will simply get to the point where, you know, looks like a garden. I think it looks looks okay. I'm not vibing with the with the upper one, so I am going to shift it and then I'm gonna put it I'm gonna place it somewhere here. Remember guys, it is all what you like, not what people are telling you what's supposed to be okay. So you see you can make it like this, and the other one could get a little taller on the side, and this one can come over here, and this one can come over here as well. It is very, very simple, guys. You just need to play around and find find the best arrangement. And this is how easy it is to create a YouTube banner on the Canva app, guys. For more tips and tricks like this, subscribe and follow for more. 
Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create Instagram Reels on Canva app using your phone. Very easy guys, very simple. So the first thing you wanna come over here guys, you wanna click on social media on the upper settings. Then you essentially, you wanna scroll down, you wanna click on Instagram, and then you wanna scroll slowly to the Instagram Reels over here. Now I want you to click save. Now I want you to click CO. What you want to do right now is that you want to filter all the results by simply pushing up. Now we're going to click on style. In our case, we're going to create a very interesting, let's cue it professional or creative. Let's, let's set as a creative mode. Then we're going to slide on the side and we're going to choose our theme which in this particular case could be essentially anything. In our case, we're going to use the party theme, okay? This is how simple it is. Sometimes it works a little slow, so you gotta be patient. Then you're gonna filter by price. You wanna use only the free templates, which will allow you to expand and excel more using your budget for other purposes. So let's select this. <clears throat> video over here this is how you're going to create the reels if you click play you will see how everything will be matching to itself if you go back you will see that every element that you click on is customizable this is very good and very important because you know and you realize that you can adjust everything for example all these flowers on the side you can essentially scroll through the menu over here and you can change them okay you can make them darker uh, you can use completely different font you can make them warmer over here on the side everything could be adjusted everything could simply be edited which is mind-blowing as you can see also over here you can change the actual color and the font by simply clicking fonts if you can see over here we can change the font make it much more easier for people to read while they're watching the videos right you realize that especially if you copying and pasting quotes like a lot of people are doing they're simply pasting a quote and essentially the background matters a lot small letters small fonts are not something that you want to go after this is why putting a different effects on the actual theme is very important. Like simply adjusting the lining and creating a brush tool which will help you on the following face using the magic edit tool, right? It's simply very, very interesting considering that a lot of people don't know that. Other people are not aware that this is uh, something as an option that exists. Also, you can resize it, right? You can make it larger, you can move it around or if you don't like it, you can essentially click it and we can just remove it. Same like this text over here. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and come back for more. Hi, guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove background from photos using Canva on your phone. Okay, it's different than the actual desktop version. So let me show you very easy, very simple, guys. The first thing that you want to do, you want to log into your Canva account. Then you want to click on the lower center of the screen. You want to hit the plus sign. The next step will be over here. We are going to select our image. On the lower left side of the screen, you will have an option to either create a custom size prior uploading or you can upload your own file. On the right side, you will see that we already uploaded our file, which is this beautiful Ferrari car. Okay. Now, after the image is uploaded, you can essentially click on the upper right corner and click edit photo. Now, you can skip the tour, right? And for the purpose of us removing the background, all we gotta do is to click on the second menu section underneath on effects. When you click on effects, you will simply see that the first option over here is that uh, <clears throat> BG remover essentially will remove the background. This is where you're gonna click and this is how you're going to remove your background. Click on this and this is how you're going to do it. For more tips and tricks like this guys, subscribe and follow for more.